everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm julie and today i'm just gonna do a little weekend in my life it's thursday so basically like end of the week weekend vlog um i got a request for a day in my life but my days aren't that interesting i do like one interesting thing a day so basically i'm just gonna do a little weekend in my life so right now i have my bag on my shoulder i'm gonna go into ulta and maybe i'll show you guys around and show you guys what i get i just want to pick up some new things to try for tiktok and on here of course so we're gonna do that and then i have to go to work so i'll probably not film there because I don't want anyone to know where I work, but yeah, so Ulta, work, we might go to Target if we have time between work and Ulta to pick up some things that I need, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, welcome to my weekend in my life. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So you guys saw some of the displays. I got so excited because Undone Beauty is one of my favorite brands right now. So they added a display there. I didn't get some of the products that I wanted because they didn't have them. But I did get some really cool items that I thought that they would be sold out out of. So the first one is the Sour Patch Continuous Mist from Morphe. This is like a limited edition thing. And I've been seeing it all over TikTok. So I wanted to test that out. So I'm not even going to open it until I do a TikTok. And then this also went viral on TikTok. It's the Milani Lipstick in the shade Tease. So look how beautiful this packaging is. And then a lot of people have been raving about the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liners. So I got it in the shade Maple Glaze. This is probably like one of the only ones that I saw there that was like a nude shade. So that is everything that I got from Ulta. So now I'm going to run to Target and just get a few things and then go straight to work. But yeah. Alrighty, so I'm leaving Target right now. I'm at um, in a line. Um, I just got some things to make Rice Krispie treats at work because I make like a little profit off that. So I got that and now I'm on my way to work. Um, it's 11.50. I've worked at... 12 so i'll get there in like two minutes it's right across the street so yeah just wanted to update you guys and i'll get back to you when i'm doing something interesting Alrighty, so it is the next day honestly i didn't do anything that interesting just went to my sister's volleyball game so i did my makeup and i just left my hair natural um it's you know wavy whatever so makeup's done hair's done um, I'll show you guys my outfit in a second, but I'm actually going like 45 minutes away to get some laser hair removal for the first time. I'm really nervous. I'm a big pansy when it comes to pain, so I'm going to let you guys know how this experience goes, where I went, and all of that. My friend is actually doing my laser. So I'll put all the information here and down below and everything like that. But yeah, I'm going like 45 minutes away for that. And then we're going to go to a few stores. I'm going with my mom. Because up there, it's like a little more bougie. So they have like really good TJ Maxx's and Ulta's and stuff up there. So I'm super stoked for that. But I just wanted to update you guys. So let's get into the outfit. Alrighty, so here we're going to do the outfit in the mirror. Let me just zoom out a bit. Okay. Top is from Topshop. Just like a stretchy top, crop top. Super cute. It's like a square neck. I don't really know how to explain it, but I really like it. You don't have to wear a bra with it. And then my joggers are from Zara. I have them in my most recent Zara haul and then my shoes are just Nikes from the boys section and then this bag is from Target. I really love this bag. I'll show you guys a close-up but it went viral on TikTok the video that I posted of it 
So go check that out if you want to see that. I got another bag too that same day, but everybody absolutely loved it. So here is what it looks like. It is just like a crocodile print. It has this little tag. It comes with a strap that you can take out. And then on the inside, you have two compartments here and here, and then a zipper compartment. So you have a lot of space and it is super super duper cute so now i'm going to head out we're gonna go a little bit early because of traffic and stuff and we want to see if we can go to at least one store first beforehand and then maybe one afterwards but yeah just wanted to catch you guys up and of course i'll share my experience with the laser afterwards <laughs> Okay, so I am back from getting lasered and going to the stores. So let me just explain my experience to you while I'm just sitting here. I have the things that I bought, so I'll do a haul in a second. So I went to Semper Laser in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. It was about 45 minutes from my house. Um, my friend works there, so I wanted to support her, but they have different locations. So yeah, that's where I went. And let me just pull up the questions that everybody asked me. Okay, first question. Pain level, is it one or multiple sessions? So the pain level, let me just give you a background. I'm literally a pansy for pain. I cry at shots, I cry at the thought of shots, I cry at the thought of blood work, I cry during blood work, I am a baby. This was a level 1 out of 10, like literally, it feels like a, like a little bit of a pinch, nothing crazy. Um, I did my armpits and a Brazilian, so... Those are pretty sensitive spots, and I'm telling you, I'm a pansy for pain, and it was literally a 1 out of 10. Like, I could do it all day long. Not all day long, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and it is not one session, so my first session was free, but then I decided to do a payment plan. So it is, and this is like personal to everybody, so 12 sessions. Um, each and a lifetime guarantee so when you go through any changes or anything if a hair decides to magically pop up if you ever get like pregnant or you go through anything like that you could go back with free like free of charge and they'll laser it for you um, and again price is different everywhere you go and for everybody personally mine was about 2500 for bikini and underarms and I have a payment plan for a few months, a year and some change, I think, for like $140 a month. If you're curious, I know that's kind of personal, but I'm deciding to share my experience with you guys. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable. 12 sessions, I'm supposed to be like hairless. And the laser that they have there has like cryotherapy in there. So it's really supposed to pull everything out and not lighten the hairs it's supposed to literally remove it which is great so yeah my experience was very good there and then I already covered the other question which was how much did it cost again everywhere you go is different everybody personally is different so take that with a grain of salt but there's an idea for you all right so you saw some footage of me whoop, in the store so I'll do a little haul for you guys right now
these cookie things because I was literally starving. They're actually pretty good. So yeah, that's something random that I got. Then from Marshalls as well, I got this workout top. I have this top in a gray color. So I thought that this would be perfect because I work at a gym and I wear workout tops all the time and I go to the gym too. So this was $14.99 and it has a built-in bra. Super cute and comfortable. Super soft as well. And then I found these biker shorts that are gray. And then in the back, they have like a little heart-ish type thing to make you look like plumped, you know? And then they have pockets right here. I just thought that this was such a pretty shade to wear with like a crop top or a sports bra or anything like that. And these were $14.99. So I've been wanting sneakers that are nude to go with some of my athleisure outfits that I don't want to wear strictly like white or black shoes with. So these are literally so cute. Um, I'm not going to use these to work out. This is just like athleisure purposes. I know Nautica isn't like a crazy like Adidas Nike brand, but I like these so whatever. And they were $25. Look at how cute these are. They're just like little slip on sneakers. Nothing crazy, but for my neutral outfits, this is great, and it was so inexpensive. So I couldn't pass it up here. I'll show you both of them. Super duper cute. And I know it's not like a crazy name brand or anything, but I don't care. That stuff really doesn't matter that much to me, so. Now on to TJ Maxx. My mom got this, but it's in my bag, so I'll just show you. This is $16.99. It's like a little Urban Outfitters top that they have. Theirs is like $22. This one was $16.99. So, you know, a little bit of money off. So it's a V-neck and then straight back. They had like a light pink one, if you're wondering. And then I have this color in a top in the same brand. So look at how cute these are. They're just little leggings. And these were $14.99. They have pockets and they're, they don't go right under the knee. They go a little bit longer, so they're a little bit cropped, but I don't mind. This blue color is so stunning. And this is the top that I already have in this color, so just like picture that. But I found it in this gray color, so it's just like a little v-neck long top sports bra. And it's double lined in the front so that you're, you don't have to wear a bra underneath, which is so nice. And this was $12.99. Last but not least, I hope this fits. These are a pair of jeans. So they're from Indigo Rain and they were $16.99. So they're like a, they're called the Skater High Rise and they are flare leg slouchy inseam. So they're just ripped jeans and then they flare out at the bottom a little bit. I hope they fit because they're so, so cute. They're a size one. So Hoping and praying that they fit. And we have another little Ulta haul. So my mom bought the caffeine solution from The Ordinary. So I just thought I'd include that. And then I got three products from Essence because I didn't have these at mine. So Tati recommended all of these products actually. This one is the Makeup Buffer Brush right here. She said that this was so good. And then she recommended their eyeshadow palette. So this one is Coral Me Maybe, like Call Me Maybe. But it has a nice mirror. And then here are what the shades look like. Super cute and super affordable for an eyeshadow palette. And then this is the Essence Wax Brow Pen. So I'm curious to see how I like this. But again, she raved about it. So I was like, well, why not try it? Alrighty, so that is everything that I got and my laser experience. So I'm probably just going to take a shower, go in my PJs, and chill out for the rest of the night. If I do anything interesting for the rest of the weekend, then I'll be back.